Have you ever seen something that you shouldn't have? Now, I'm not talking about that one time as a kid when you walked into your parents' bedroom while they were wrestling. No, 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 no. I'm talking about something that shouldn't exist and that its very presence defies the laws of the universe. That this thing is like opening up a forbidden portal that allows you to look right into the eyes of a Lovecraftian god as your face melts away and your very essence descends into unbridled madness. Well, that's like watching this. How is this real? How does this exist? I've seen some really heinous things before. Teenage robots wearing skin suits, uh, aliens harvesting the organs of children. It, whatever the hell happened to Buttercup over here? But no matter how bad things got, I, I could still bring myself to at least watch the content and then form an opinion about it. But this was the first time ever where I doubted my resolve and, and thought to myself, I, I don't think I can watch this. I'm not strong enough. For those who don't know, I'm referring to the infamous episode of Total Drama Rama called, quote, Total Eclipse of the Fart, which features a character gleefully sniffing the farts of chi- mm, 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 Damn it, I, I can't even finish the sentence. That's how bad this is. That's how wrong this feels. I mean, this video series is called Weird Episode. And if the objective is to find the weirdest of the weird, well, mission accomplished. Okay, so this episode is about a fart fairy inhaling the farts of... Yeah. There, I, I kind of said it. I can't officially say it because it's just too wrong, all right? Yeah, you could spin this off as some innocent fart joke, but that face, that expression, like, come on, bro. Come on. Someone, please, anyone, go check on Canada. That's where this came from, and I'm worried about them. Go knock on their door, ask how their mother's doing, just go check up on them, please. Do it for me. I'm worried about them. So, in a way, I see this as the final boss of weird episodes, because this one nearly ended me. And now, I'm about to make you all suffer the same fate. I travel the world collecting everyone's farts. For the past few months, I've been going down the rabbit hole that is the Total Drama franchise. The original series was released in 2007 and was a big hit both in Canada and the US. It would also go on to have multiple iterations, with one still airing to this very day. Case in point, Total Drama Rama. That's right, uh, this franchise went from a reality show parody of Survivor to uh, babies. Why is it always babies? To be fair, Total Drama Rama is like an alternate universe from the lore that is Total Drama, but it's still bad nonetheless. As a matter of fact, uh, one could say that this version of Total Drama is ruining the franchise. <laughs> yeah, keep your eyes open for that upload. But Total Drama Rama gamed infamy when this particular clip on Twitter started to make the rounds. Actually, it's kind of funny. I saw this clip back in the day, but I completely forgot about it months later. It's like my brain went into self-defense mode and was like, this memory, dump it. Get rid of it. It's going to kill him if we don't. So when I did revisit this episode like a week ago, it was like watching it anew all over again. I got to suffer hell twice. For the record, I plan on revisiting the subject of total drama in the near future and also in greater detail. So if this video feels light on the homework, it's because I'm saving it for that. For now though, let's just move things along and get this torture over with. <sighs> Man, that face is going to haunt my nightmares. Okay, so what's the show about? This version of Total Drama is like a daycare. And you got some of these characters from the different series of the franchise who are, ta-da, toddlers. You got Duncan, y you got Owen, you got Lashana. Uh, there's a few of them. Courtney is, is there, and, and then of course, there's Gwen. 
Though she's not in this episode. So that's it. That's the that's the premise. They're just toddler versions of our characters at a daycare. And, and Chef is the guy watching out for them. That's the show. In this particular episode, though, it's about Lashana and how she loses her tooth. And she's pumped about the tooth fairy. She accidentally swallows her tooth. And then she made a, like, fake tooth out of paper mache to try and trap and capture the tooth fairy. Surprise, surprise, she actually captures the fart fairy. And here we go. Good God. When I first saw the clip on Twitter of, of the sniffing, I thought, no, there has to be some kind of context. This, this has to be just something, something more to this episode to explain the weirdness of what I'm seeing. No, if anything, the context makes it so much worse. The fart fairy's like, I'm the fart fairy. I sniff your farts, children. I, I need them for power. And I'm always following you around and I'm, and I'm inhaling your flatulence. That's me. I sniff your farts and I make this face. Ugh. That That's what gets me. That face right there. It could have been at least deflected as just bad comedy, you know? Where it's like, I'm the fart fairy and I sniff your farts. <laughs> I'm gonna run off now. But it's like, no, he's inhaling it. And then you see his eyes rolling the back of his head. That's when you cross the line. That's when you really made me go, should I call the FBI? That was the moment. And like I said, no context could it possibly explain that face. Nothing in the world. The greatest lawyer in the world couldn't defend you in court when it comes to this face. It's just not right. You can actually see my reaction on Twitch when I first watched this and how just violated I felt. I'm smelly it, the fart fairy. I travel the world collecting everyone's farts. Everyone's farts? Yep. Anytime you've ever farted, I've been there. No. No. No! You can't do that! You can't make that. You can't do that! You can't! Where are the goddamn producers? What the f? How is this allowed? Uh, oh, no! Who allowed this? It's only three minutes in! No! Uh, so, Lashawn is like, I don't fart. But the other kids are like, we do. We'll fart on you. We'll fart on you, fart fairy. And he's like, good, but I need more farts. I'm dying. And there's farts outside that's going to block out the sun and freeze the earth because that's the world we live in. Lashana, I need your farts. And he gets the farts. And then he flies away. And that's the episode. And there's more to it. But I'm going to save you the excruciating details. The only thing in this entire episode that has any kind of merit is this meta joke of when Chef's like, I'm calling the army. And, and, and they're like, the army? And he's like, yeah, because the animators already drew the army guys and we're going to reuse them again. That was kind of funny. Though, you know, I too would call the army if I saw this guy crawling around making that face at a daycare center. Yeah, call the entire military and get him out. So what are my overall thoughts? Hmm, not good. Uh, though I'm trying to be fair. I know that sounds ridiculous, okay? Because it's so easy for me to jump down the throat of this show and shake the writers and go, what was wrong with you? What were you thinking? And, and, and I want to at least give them a second, give them a moment uh, for the benefit of the doubt. And as I was thinking about that, it's like, is it Canada? Is it their sense of humor? Is this their type of comedy? And that's why they thought it was okay? Maybe. Uh, that's all I can really think of. What gets me, though, as this show works its way up the chain of command, nobody, not even a producer in the U.S., went, we should probably not do that. No. Every single check and balance to get this approved, it's like, thumbs up, move it along, go on, get it on television, 
show it to human beings, they, they must watch it. And, and then we do see it. And we're like, how did this get through? Where were the watchers to protect us? Who's watching the watchers? It, 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 but it made its way through. And, and you think someone would have the discretion to go, I object, but not, I guess not the right person objected or not enough of people objected. Whatever happened, this still ended up on TV. And that's the final product. And it just kind of makes my mind blow up. Because I know that when it comes to farts, it's not all sexual. I mean, it does exist. The same way that there's a fetish for like literally anything ever in the universe, period, with humans. We just are really interesting species with our broad palette of, of taste. But not every fart is necessarily sexually, like, that's the goal here. Though that face, again, makes me doubt the uh, motives of the show and what they're getting at. That face makes me truly uncomfortable and question their entire motive. But hey, maybe it was innocent enough. And maybe I'm the bad guy. Maybe I'm not with it. And, and, and that's the problem here. Though, when I ask friends and I see on Twitter people's reactions, the majority of folks are the ones who are like, yeah, this is kind of messed up. This is, uh, this is weird. Yeah, kids like fart jokes because kids are stupid. They don't know anything else. They fart and they're like, lol, I farted. And I'll be real, most fart jokes aren't funny to me. They, they require some kind of nuance or, <laughs> or clever writing to make it work. Like in Adventure Time, there was this joke with a fart that actually got a big laugh out of me when Finn was telling Jake, hey, be quiet. We can't get caught. And then Jake's like, Pfft. And Finn's like, Jake. And Jake goes, I'm sorry, I thought it was funny. And I don't know why, that that was that, that got a big laugh out of me. So fart jokes can be funny, but this isn't a fart joke to me. This is just disturbing and that's it. So uh, I, I want to collectively like pour out one for all the kids who watch this and who will forever be impacted by the results. I'm sorry, you know, it happens to the best of us and it happens to everyone. You just spin the roulette and you land it on fart. So Godspeed to you. And, and don't worry, folks, I will return here in like a month with, with my big old total drama video. I promise that. I know I promise a lot of videos, Caleb and Sophia, uh, SpongeBob and Tehran, we'll get around to it. Uh, I got some things going on in real life and I will eventually get to these topics that are more than just smut, I promise, all right? We'll get past the fart videos, we'll get past the, the weird stuff, trust me. There's some good uploads with substance on the horizon. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go watch the second Sailor Moon hentai film from this trilogy. Good day.